What if I told you that one of the world's most popular weight loss diets wasn't created for weight loss at all? That its origins are found not in a gym, but in a hospital? That this way of eating was a life-saving medical protocol long before it was a fitness trend? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the medical side of the ketogenic diet. We're going beyond avocado toast and bulletproof coffee to explore its powerful, life-changing beginnings, how it works on a biological level, and why this context is so important for anyone trying it today. Stick around, because this history lesson might just change everything you think you know about keto. So let's start with the basics. What is the ketogenic diet? If you ask someone on the street, they'll probably say it's a high-fat, low-carb diet for weight loss. And they're not wrong, but that's a very modern, simplified version. The classic ketogenic diet is a specialized, high-fat, low-carbohydrate medical diet that was developed to control seizures in people with epilepsy, especially children. The name itself gives us a clue. Keto means ketone, and genic means producing. It's a ketone-producing diet. Now, what are ketones? Normally, your body runs on glucose, which comes from carbohydrates. Think sugar, bread, pasta. But when you drastically reduce those carbs, your body needs to find another fuel source. It turns to your stored fat. Your liver breaks down this fat into molecules called ketones, and voila! Your body, including your brain, can run very efficiently on this new, clean-burning fuel. This state is called nutritional ketosis, and it's the entire goal of the diet. But here's the critical part you need to understand. The medical version of this diet is incredibly strict. It's not just low carb. It's a precisely calculated regimen where foods are weighed to the gram. To really appreciate keto, we have to go back in time. Did you know that fasting for epilepsy was mentioned in the Hippocratic writings? That's over 2,000 years ago. Physicians observed that fasting could reduce seizures. But you can't fast forever, right? The modern ketogenic diet was formally developed in the 1920s at the Mayo Clinic by Dr. Russell Wilder. He was looking for a way to mimic the metabolic effects of fasting long term. He formulated a diet that was so high in fat and so low in carbs that it would force the body to stay in that fat-burning, ketone-producing state, which seemed to calm the electrical storms in the brain that cause seizures. And it worked! For decades, the ketogenic diet was a standard, successful treatment for pediatric epilepsy. But then, in the 1940s, new anti-seizure medications like Dilantin hit the market. They were easier. You just take a pill. The difficult, restrictive keto diet fell out of favor and was largely forgotten by the medical community for a time. This is the million-dollar question. How does eating fat stop seizures? The truth is, we're still unraveling the exact mechanisms but we have some very strong theories. The leading theory is, of course, ketones themselves. When the brain uses ketones for fuel instead of glucose, it seems to stabilize nerve cells. Think of glucose as a volatile, high-octane fuel that can sometimes cause engine backfires. Ketones are like a smooth, steady-burning diesel fuel that makes the engine run more calmly and predictably. Higher ketone levels in the blood often directly correlate with better seizure control. But it's not just the ketones. Another theory involves GABA and glutamate. These are the main stop and go signals in your brain. Seizures can happen when there's too much go, glutamate, and not enough stop, GABA. The ketogenic diet appears to boost GABA levels and reduce glutamate, effectively putting more brakes on the brain's electrical activity. Finally, there's the mitochondria angle. Mitochondria are the power plants of your cells. The keto diet seems to make them more efficient and increase their number giving brain cells more stable, reliable energy, making them less likely to misfire. So, how did we get from a strict clinical protocol to a global weight loss phenomenon? The resurgence began in the 1990s, largely thanks to one determined father. Jim Abraham's son, Charlie, had severe intractable epilepsy that didn't respond to medications. After discovering old research on the keto diet, he fought to get his son on it. The results were miraculous. Charlie's seizures stopped. Jim Abrahams made it his mission to spread the word. He started the Charlie Foundation, created a training program for doctors, and even produced a TV movie, which brings us to the next pivotal moment. This movie, starring Meryl Streep, told a fictionalized version of his story and introduced millions of people to the concept of the ketogenic diet. The public was fascinated. Researchers began to wonder, if this diet can have such profound effects on the brain, what other benefits might it have? And that's when the weight loss connection exploded. 
People realized that by being in a state of ketosis, they were effortlessly burning stored fat. The rest, as they say, is history. This is the most important takeaway of this entire video. The keto diet you see on social media is not the same as the medical keto diet. Let's break down the critical differences. Medical keto, it's a prescribed therapy. It's managed by a team of neurologists and dietitians. The primary goal is seizure control. The ratios are strict, typically four to one or three to one, fat to protein carb. Every single calorie and gram is weighed and measured. It often starts in a hospital setting. Lifestyle keto, it's a dietary choice. It's self-managed. The primary goal is weight loss, mental clarity, energy. The ratios are more flexible, often just tracking net carbs, 20 to 50 gyan per day. Food is tracked, but not usually weighed to the gram. It started in your own kitchen. See the difference? One is a precise medical tool. The other is a dietary framework. This is why you should always consult with a doctor before making drastic changes to your diet, especially if you have underlying health conditions. Just like any powerful tool, the ketogenic diet comes with potential side effects, and it's crucial we talk about them. For the medical diet, we're looking at long-term management of things like kidney stones, high cholesterol, constipation, and slowed growth in children, which is why medical supervision is non-negotiable. For the lifestyle dieter, you're more likely to encounter the short-term keto flu, headaches, fatigue, brain fog as your body adapts. This is often related to electrolyte loss and can be managed. Long-term, the risks are similar if the diet isn't followed in a balanced way, emphasizing healthy fats and vegetables over processed keto junk food. But let's talk about the potential benefits beyond weight loss and epilepsy. Emerging research is looking into keto for type 2 diabetes. By removing sugar, it can dramatically improve blood sugar control, PCOS. It can help improve insulin resistance, a key driver of PCOS. Neurological diseases. Research is ongoing for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and traumatic brain injury, based on that same principle of providing the brain with an alternative, cleaner fuel. Mental clarity and energy. Many people report significant improvements in focus and stable energy levels without the afternoon crash. So what's the bottom line? The ketogenic diet is far more than a weight loss fad. It's a powerful dietary intervention with a profound medical history. Understanding its origins gives us a deep respect for how it changes our body's fundamental metabolism. Whether it's used as a life-saving treatment for a child or a tool for an adult to reclaim their health, the principle is the same. By shifting our fuel source from sugar to fat, we can create powerful changes from the cellular level up. This is a huge topic and we've only scratched the surface today. I have various playlists for keto beginners, breaking down facts and keto tips. I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Did you know about keto's medical origins? What has your experience with keto been like? Let's get a conversation going. If you found this deep dive valuable, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss our next video. For more resources, free recipes, and to dive deeper, visit our website at tbrlifestyle.com. Thanks for watching. And remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. See you in the next one.